Revised Myth um, was the first poem I ever wrote back in college for a prize called the Pearl Prize. And at the time I was reading Gawain and the Green Knight and the works of Carl Jung, and from them emerged an idea about the legend of St. Patrick getting rid of the snakes of Ireland, which always seemed to me to be a bit too easy. I refer in the poem to the saints on St. Peter's, by which I have in mind the row of saints, the statues on the colonnade of St. Peter's Rome. And the myth, or rather the poem, is written in the form of a myth or fable. Revised Myth The snake lay still, the essence of snake generations compressed into each atom of nerve and muscle, its oily green coils glistening with the dryness of glazed paint. The warm-blooded, serene saint leant over and let drip drops of holy water, until like a fork of lightning spasm, the snake crucified spat and spat back the gospel with hiss and venom, its blind tongue flickering foil-like, head and tail split from each other by the great sack weight of solid flesh. Unpeeling itself, it began to shudder, then rocketed through the bracken that crackled like rain on a live rail. Wherever he went, the snakes vanished. He lobbed across, they darted into foxholes. He clicked his fingers, they slipped between the cracks of gravestones. He mouthed abracadabra, they melted into their own mirages. But while the saint kicked off his sandals, the snakes chewed their way through thick earth, and they met, and snake ate snake, until just one serpent, sweating in its juices, its back crusted with the hills of Ireland, lay still. And now it lies waiting, swelling under the thin skin of the New Testament, waiting for the saints on St. Peter's to drop off, one by one, like stand-up ducks at a rifle range.